What's up guys, I'm Grunt, and welcome to the 13th episode of Learning the Maps. This time we'll be taking a look at one of the original maps, Chalet. Timestamps are in the description, let's get started. We'll start outside with spawns and exterior cameras. The first spawn is the tower or front yard spawn in the northwest. You'll spawn at the end of a winding road. On your right you'll find the tower. From atop the tower you can get a good view into the majority of the west side, though it will be pretty easy to take you out once you're discovered. Continuing to follow the road will take us to the first exterior camera. Over to the right you'll find the helipad, and over to the left you'll find the front yard, with the front door and windows and the bathroom balcony above that. Up to the right you'll find a ladder leading up to the bathroom balcony, and dropping down to the left will take us to the big garage walls with the West Trophy window above that. Over to the east we've got the back entrance, and a pathway up to the campfire spawn, and to the left we've got another pathway taking us along the southwest side of the map. A handy thing to note is that from these rocks you can actually see right into Trophy, cutting off a decent chunk of the room. Continuing to follow the path west will eventually take us back to spawn. The second spawn is the campfire spawn in the northwest. This time we'll spawn by a campfire, and climbing the rocks in front of you will give you a good view of the bedroom. Off to the right you'll find a ledge which you can't drop off for some reason, and at the edge of the rocks you'll see the back entrance. From the campfire, going west will take us back to the big garage. And then to the back entrance. And moving south will take us to the east trophy window, with a drone hole that can actually be used to shoot the defender's ankles if you're lucky. Further south we've got the kitchen window, which can be used to look into dining and the trophy hallway. And then some stairs taking us down to the side entrance into the basement. And if we go even further south you'll find the fireplace entrance, and directly behind us you'll find the final outside camera for chalet. From here if we were to go south we'd find a pathway going down to the cliffside spawn, and going back north we'll find some stairs going up to the gazebo. From the top you'll be able to see into most of the east side, especially the bedroom and office. And on the way back down you can appreciate Yubi's work on things you will never see. Following the pathway north will take us back to the campfire. The third spawn is the cliffside spawn in the southeast. This time we'll spawn at the base of those stairs we saw from the campfire spawn. Taking the stairs takes us to the camera under the gazebo. But taking a left will take us to an elevated area where we can look into campfire. 
and then a sliver of kitchen off to the right. Moving towards the building, you'll notice a ladder that'll take us up to the bedroom balcony. Towards the fireplace door, you'll find another ladder. This one will take us up to the office balcony. And then there's some stairs taking us back down to spawn. In the back of spawn, there's a side path that'll take us back to those stairs. And if we go west, we'll end up at the garage wall. Now nine times out of ten, you're going to be opening the garage wall for downstairs objectives, but you should look out for C4s being thrown from the windows above. And continuing to follow the building west will take us to the final spawn, which is the helipad or lakeside spawn in the southwest. This time you'll spawn somewhere around the helipad. Off to the south you'll see the tower from the tower spawn. And heading east will take us back to the first camera. On top of the helipad, you've got a couple options to attack games and library. The first is to get on top of these boxes. Or if you're feeling a bit ballsy, you can actually get on top of the chopper. It's a lot riskier, but the angle is 10 times better. From the helipad, you can also look over to the bathroom window as well. Going towards the camera, we'll find the side entrance to the first floor, a ladder up to the library balcony, and the game's double window and door, with the single window around the corner. Heading down the east side will take us back to Snowmobile, And on the south side, there's a path going all the way back to spawn. And now we'll head inside to the basement. But first, as always, in the top left, you'll see the in-game name of a room, another name for that room in round brackets, callouts in square brackets, and more specific callouts in curly brackets. We'll be starting at the back entrance from the campfire spawn in the north. The back entrance is an excellent way to flank downstairs objectives once you get the snowmobile wall open. You should be wary of the hatch though, as a roamer can easily get in behind you. The big garage is usually a staging ground to attack the wine cellar. It's got two walls out to the front yard. And seeing as the entire roof is breakable, you could also attack trophy from underneath. The hallway connects the big garage to the wine cellar. On the right, there's some stairs going up to the front entrance on the first floor. And this door will take us out to the stairs near the kitchen window. There's also a breakable wall leading into stock in the back of the hallway. Wine houses both a hostage and a bomb site that it shares with Snowmobile, and is definitely one of the favourite objectives. The entire back wall is breakable and takes us back to the hallway. Off to the side is stock. A mirror window on the northeast wall can be used to hold the back of wine pretty effectively. Just watch out for someone coming in from the wall to your right. 
Another very common mirror spot for holding snowmobile is on this wall. And if you open up the wall to the right, you can easily peek the garage door. Though you're going to want some teammates in other places to ensure you don't get shot in the back. Connector connects wine to snowmobile. This is where a lot of the long range engagements coming from the big garage will take place. And there's also a hatch above you into fireplace. And snowmobile is definitely a favourite site. It's got a secure site and the bomb that it shares with wine. In the middle you'll find some stairs taking you up to fireplace. And over towards blue you'll find the first interior camera. Blue is another excellent way to attack snowmobile and it also cuts off the mirror strat. So defenders will definitely want to have some presence in and around blue. And with that we'll head up to the second floor. Immediately one of the first things you'll notice is the side entrance. This takes us out to the patio near the game's window and the ladder leading up to the library balcony. If you were to continue going up the stairs you'd end up at the library hallway. And over to the south is games. One of the more common entry points for attackers. There's a single window to the south, taking us back out to the patio. Games also houses a bomb site that it shares with Bar, and the most common plant spot, or the default plant, is in this corner. Though you should be aware of the hatch above into library. Back into the hallway, over to the south we'll find Bar which houses the bomb site that it shares with games, and it's also got a secure site. Behind the bar there's a wall into fireplace, and our first hatch, which takes us down to snowmobile and near the fireplace stairs. The wooden floor in bar is also breakable, and it's mainly above snowmobile, with the slither of blue hallway in the north. Fireplace is another common entry point for attackers. No bomb site, but it can take you basically anywhere on the map. We've got the stairs taking us back to snowmobile. And next to those are stairs going up to the fireplace balcony near library. Away from the stairs we've got the second hatch, this one goes down into the connector between wine and snowmobile, and directly above that is the second inside camera. It's also useful to know that the entire floor of fireplace is breakable, and it's above connector, wine and snowmobile. The door and window will also take us out to the backyard, under the office balcony. And the middle part of the floor is the part that's above snowmobile. Dining connector, nothing special except drone holes on either side. Dining houses a secure site, and behind the table there's a hatch going into wine near the hallway door. Kitchen houses a bullet bag and a bomb site that it shares with Trophy. Now if you want to get your head taken off, just stick your face in the window, it'll happen eventually. You can also get on top of the fridge by getting up on the counter and sprint vaulting towards the fridge. You can't really do much from up here, but why not? Going into the Trophy hallway, we'll head straight into Trophy which has that drone hole that you can shoot people's ankles through. 
It's also got the bomb site that it shares with Kitchen. Near the window, there's the hatch taking us down to the back entrance. And like I said earlier, the entire floor is breakable and it's mainly above the big garage. We've got the window overlooking the front yard to the west. And with that, we'll head back into Trophy Hallway, which is also above Big Garage. It'll also take us back into Dining. And it'll also take us to the front entrance, which has a hatch taking us down into Big Garage. Then there's the windows and doors taking us out to the front yard. And there's also the stairs taking us down to the basement hallway. And then another set of stairs taking us up to the second floor. At the top of the stairs, if we take a hard left, we can go over to bedroom which houses a fuse target and a bomb that it shares with Office. The east window will take us out onto the bedroom balcony. Now bedroom is by far one of the least favourite objectives just because there's so many ways that the site can be locked down from outside. Over the other side there's a hatch going down into kitchen and a door taking us out onto the terrace which is one of the few places you can actually repel on as an attacker. Bedroom will also take us into the bathroom, which if you are defending bedroom is vital. It's got a window, which can be used to hold the tower or the library balcony. It also takes us out onto the bathroom balcony. Bathroom also has a wall into the hallway near the bedroom door. And the floor is also breakable, which is above front entrance. Bedroom's floor is also breakable and is above trophy hallway. And kitchen. The bedroom hallway also has a breakable section of floor above dining. And above the stairs we'll find the third interior camera. Moving into office, it's got the bomb that it shares with bedroom and it's also a good spot to set up a library attack. The window takes us back to the bedroom balcony. And if you can master the jump, the balcony will also take us to the office balcony. Which has the ladder down near fireplace, and a bunch of windows overlooking the fireplace balcony. And if you're looking for a cheeky drone spot, chuck your drone up into the... Chuck your drone up into the roof, and jump it through the little beams, and you can see all of fireplace, and a decent chunk of the second floor. Back into office, the floor is also breakable, and it's above dining. Moving back into the hallway, the balcony overlooks most of fireplace, and the hatch will take us down into the dining connector. Now as an Ash or a Zoe, if the garage wall has been bandited and you don't have a way to get rid of it, you can actually remove the bandit batteries yourself from the second floor. So just keep that in mind if you forget Thatcher or Twitch, or if they have a Jaeger to stop all your grenades. The window in the hallway takes us back out onto the bathroom balcony.
The library hallway also has another hatch going down into the bar hallway. And over by the stairs is the last camera for Chalet. And these stairs will take us back down to the bar hallway. The library entrance also has a hatch. It takes us down into bar. And library also houses a secure site and a sacrifice. All the windows will take us out onto the library balcony. And the final hatch for Chalet is in between the double windows. This one goes down into games. And the majority of the floor in library is also breakable. And it's above games. and bar over to the east. There's also another single window going out to the east side of the library balcony. The last room is the fireplace balcony. It overlooks fireplace and it's above bar. Now we'll move on to objectives, starting with bomb sites. The worst pair is in bedroom and office. The second pair is in bar and games. The third lot's in Wine and Snowmobile. And the last pair is in Kitchen and Trophy. Secure sites now. The first one's in Library. The second one's in dining. The third one is in the bar. And the last one's downstairs in snowmobile. And last and always least, hostages. The first hostage is in bedroom. Second fuse targets in library. Third bullet bag is in the kitchen. And the final sacrifice is getting drunk down in wine cellar. And that's it for Chalet. As always, up next is a bunch of peaks, runouts, and useful rotations. You'll see the attacker's perspective first, followed by the defenders. And there's only one ranked map left, and that's the reworked cafe coming out next season, so that'll be the next map. And if this did help you, make sure you like, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll see you on the final ranked map.